streaming live Wednesday night, 9 Eastern on CNN. Time for Mission Possible now, where we show you how people are making a difference. Today, we're focusing on someone right next door to where I am. I'm in Toronto, uh, where I'm covering the G8 and G20 summits. Now, right next to the city of Toronto, right next to it, is a city called Mississauga. I remember uh, growing up, it, it was it was a kind of place you, you went for a drive through. Maybe you, you lived there, but you worked in Toronto. Mayor of Mississauga, Hazel McCallion, 89 years old. She's been the mayor since 1978. This is a city that under her watch has grown by leaps and bounds since she took office. Grown debt-free. As you can almost say, it's a model for some of the politicians gathered right around the corner. All in favor? From early morning council meetings and photo ops. On your shoulders rests a great responsibility. To an eighth grade graduation ceremony where she's mobbed by her constituents, young and old. It's not easy keeping up with Hazel McCallion, the tireless 89 year old mayor of Mississauga. Leading Canada's sixth largest city, she's not too big to pick up garbage or run with the Olympic torch. She's been the mayor since 1978. The city she governs has grown from a sleepy bedroom community next to Toronto into a thriving metropolis, home to 61 Fortune 500 companies. People from Toronto came out to pick strawberries and apples. McCallion still drives herself around. She's won re-election 10 times by huge margins, except when she ran uncontested. Regardless, she says she never campaigns. She just works under some simple rules. Working hard and being out with your people and not making promises that you can't keep. McCallion is a widow. She plays hockey, fishes, and loves to get out on her bike. But she's no small-town mayor anymore. The recession didn't hit Canada as hard as it hit the U.S., but famously debt-free Mississauga may soon run out of its surplus. It's made McCallion focus on keeping business in Mississauga even sharper. We're not allowed to give tax breaks to industry or commerce in the province of Ontario. It's illegal. We are conscious of the needs of the community. Taxes is not the only thing a company looks at. They want to make sure, they want to attract the type of personnel that they need uh, uh, to, uh, to operate. McCallion's also nurtured relationships with developers. You want to build a subdivision? You're going to build a community center. You're going to build a hockey arena. You're going to fix up the park. You're going to... So she made the developers pay the way. And, uh, and that was what, how she kept taxes down. Hi, how are you? McCallion points to Mississauga's diversity as one of its greatest strengths. And a lot of them settled in Toronto when they first came over here and, uh, and then assembled their nest egg and then they wanted to move out of Toronto to buy a house of their own. And she proudly points out that nine of her 12 city councillors are women. She plans on holding on to her office, running without campaigning. Quite a character. Hazel McCallion tells me that she is going to run again uh, this fall. By the way, you saw uh, mayors around here wear those um, those things around them. That's why you, you saw those sort of coins that, that, I don't know what you call it, but it... Great mayor. Uh, they are facing challenges, though, like so many other cities where uh, either services need to be cut or they're going to have to go into the red a little bit. Uh, but her constituents seem to love her, and hopefully uh, some of what she does will rub off onto some of the other people who are having some of these struggles in other major cities around North America. I want to turn my attention back to the Gulf now. Some good news. A wildlife center is excited about the impact of, that the oil...